Hello guys, we are going to take a look at the Vanishing Point filter in Photoshop. Vanishing Point is a Photoshop filter that helps to place an image on another, maintaining its perspective. Okay, let's see what you are going to achieve at the end of this session. This is how I have placed the Superman character on the roof and the Spider-Man character on the edge of the roof. Let's see how we are going to achieve this so let's open the file and let's select the required images these are my three required images and I want to place the Superman and Spider-Man on the roof so what I'm going to do is like I'm going to create a, a grid out here and I have to I'm going to paste that image on that grid so that it looks that it's perspectively aligned on the roof so let's see how we're going to do this I'm going to Superman tab and I'm going to copy this image so hit ctrl A to select all and ctrl C to copy in the clipboard now going to on the rooftop image I'm going to create a layer and just rename the layer. Superman. Now on this Superman layer, I'm going to create a filter, a vanishing point filter. This is a vanishing point, vanishing point interface where I have create plane tool which has a shortcut of C and this is a grid size we can decrease increase the grid size okay I am bringing down to 25 and creating a grid on it I'll make sure that the grid has been perfectly in perspective okay it's a dense grid so if if I want to decrease the size of the size of the num numbers of grid I am going to increase this grid size fine if the grid is not perfectly in perspective it gives a color coded error this yellow shows yellow says that it's it's not in perspective it's an invalid plane and this is it's not in proportion so I'll make sure that it is it is color coded with blue color by dragging this corner point okay now I have that Superman image on my clipboard so I'm going to paste that image by control pressing control V and the Superman image has been placed on this vanishing point interface now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this image slowly into the grid plane and see the effect now you can see the image has been placed onto the grid and it seems like it has been perspectively placed I have to I have to scale down so to scale down this image I'll go to this transform tool that can be enabled pressing T also so with this tool we can transform this image we can rotate it we can scale down so to pers to to proportionality scale down I am pressing shift and this corner handle to make it small in size it looks good to me and the superman has been placed on this roof now what I have to do is like I have to place this superman on this area so what I am going to do is I am going to copy this superman on this on the clipboard by the same procedure that is control a control c and to to make it flexible i am creating another new layer that's layer one so i am going to rename this as superman spiderman sorry man okay and I'm going to create 
another vanishing point plane that's delta vanishing point you can see the vanishing point plane is been already created out there that is that i have created before while i was placing this superman now i have to create another vanishing point grid out here so what i am going to do is i am going to press control and i am going to bring it up fine you can see the depth out here so what i am doing is i am pressing control and giving a depth out there again i have to lift elevate this grid so i am pressing control and elevating this grid fine now the image that is in clipboard i am going to paste that's by control v the image is been paste on the interface now slowly dragging out it is been placed on the roof again you can see that the image is larger than larger than the area so i am going to do going in a transform tool and going to decrease the size press alt and shift to decrease in in its aspect ratio fine okay now press press enter it seems my image has been placed the only thing i have to do is i have to blend it properly with this roof so what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply a i'm going to try with overlay let's see what happens with overlay okay it's not matching so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try with another blending mode let's try with multiply now it's not working on so i am going to try with soft light sorry it's not working on so let's see okay what i'm going to do is okay i'm going to apply multiply and i'm going to decrease the opacity of this image and again i am going to do the same thing for the superman layer also i am going to de decrease the opacity of the image so that it somewhat tends to fit on the with the roof so giving a small touch up i am just going to apply a, a gaussian blur on this of 1.8 pixels and i am going to repeat with the the same with the spider man layer too i have already applied a gaussian blur so i the gaussian blur has been shown out here so i am going to apply this fine it seems like i have achieved the result okay fine guys like this is how the vanishing point works thank you guys